chronic pain, the inner demon. Folks, in this one, we're going to take you across the pond to England, where Prince William and Prince Harry, they had their scuffle. Prince Harry coming out with his memoir, and he's bragging in his memoir that he have 25 kills in Afghanistan. Yes, folks, he killed 25 people in Afghanistan. That's Prince Harry, okay? That's going to be in his memoir, all right? So, um, and also, he and William had a fight. They fought over um, Kate, over some racial slurs. We'll take a listen to what's going on in England, folks. Um, I think it's a bit sad, really. It's a, um, I think he's trying to go down the road of um, sensationalism. And, um, you know, I think really being part or ex-part of the royal family as such, you know, they should really sort of like act in a, a more responsible way, you know, bragging how many people you killed and um, internal fights, you know, normal people wouldn't sort of like air all of their problems at home and things like that, you know, um, socially, so, um, yeah, I'm a bit disappointed because, uh, you know, I respect him as a person and what he's done for this country, but the way he's going down the road now, I, I, I don't particularly like it. It shouldn't take much. I would think that it, it will blow over. I mean, we've been here before, you know. Diana's death, you know, even going back to Edward VIII and the whole abdication thing, and it blows over. Something takes its place, uh, you know, it takes off the front pages, something more important. Uh, this time, I think. I still have some sympathy for him, but I'm not sure if this will be handled in the right way, to, to be honest. I think they will get over it. They always got over it in the past. It's um, It will show Charles Metal, really, to see if he can pull the family together again, because I think it needs some sort of fatherly influence there in trying to resolve some of the, the issues between the families. So. The Great London. The Great London. Prince Eric coming out with his memoir. So they have 25 uh, kills. Uh, what, I, what I am aware of is that you've got Harry and Meghan who and making tens of millions of pounds washing their dirty laundry, their family laundry in public. And I think it's shocking. Uh, because no matter what happens among a family, do you really want to broadcast it to the world as they do? I think in the public way as he has done. All families have problems. I'm sure he's got greater problems because of, of, of what he was born into. But you don't, you don't go about it like that, surely. You, you, you sort it out within the family, but you want the whole world to know your dirty laundry? Really? Into the millions? Yes, folks, the beautiful London. London's burning. William and Harry is at war. London's burning, folks. The brothers are at war. Um, a little bit since the Great London. Who knows? Uh, what I what I am aware of is that you've got Harry and Meghan who are making tens of millions of pounds washing their dirty laundry, their family laundry in public, and I think it's shocking, uh, because no matter what happens among a family, do you really want to broadcast it to the world? As they, I think, I think brothers have scuffles all the time, so, you know, I think there's probably some truth in it, but I don't think it's as bad as he's made out. I don't really, in the public way, as he has done, all families have problems. I'm sure he's got greater problems because of, of, of what he was born into, but you don't, you don't go about it like that, surely. You, you, you sort it out within the family, but you want the whole world to know your dirty laundry, really? Beautiful London, folks. The water's looking dirty, but... Hey, it's London. Brothers are at war. London's burning. Uh, 
Um, a little bit sensationalist, to, to be honest. I think um, I think the damage is probably irreversible now, unfortunately, and um, yeah, probably nothing like we've we've seen before. It seems quite quite unprecedented. Um, and yeah, I think unfortunately um, the, the the damage has really been done this time. Well, I think he's an idiot. I mean, I think saying anything about the number of people you've killed. And my my father was in the Second World War, and I once asked him as a child if he killed anyone, and he was very reluctant to say anything about it. And uh, so I don't understand it. Someone said this morning uh, he's put a target on his back, and I think that's probably about right. The